This is the Denbidale Passive House. It was completed in 2010 and was one of the very first certified passive houses in the UK. It was also the first passive house to be built with cavity wall construction, the dominant methodology throughout the UK. Jeff and Kate Tunstall have been living comfortably in this highly energy efficient house for five years. It's outlived the expectations we had. It's been really, the, the five years, it's been at approximately £120 a year for warm, comfortable, healthy house. It has a quiet serenity. The temperature is, is in the 2021 20, everywhere, all the time. If it's minus 18 outside, it's 20 in here, 21 in here. If it's plus 23 outside, it's 20, 21 in here. Um, the performance of the house has been remarkable. We're very pleased. I didn't think we took into account how it would be a healthy house. We don't have things like mould, obviously. So yes, we're very pleased with it. Well, you notice it when we've been away. Yes. We stayed in a, a cottage, a lovely cottage in Zenna in Cornwall, a lovely place. But it was, it was October time uh, and it was, it was cold, it was drafty and we were feeding the electric meter as if there was no tomorrow. Um, and we looked at each other and said, well, we know why we're here for the countryside, but goodness me. When we got back, we walked into the house and we walked into 21 degrees again. And uh, it's when you go away and you come back, you realise how, go how good the performance is. There has been no official support from government for Passive House over the last five years. And yet, despite that, we now have thousands of projects on site. We've got projects ranging from social housing through schools, university buildings and even a swimming pool now being designed. And local government and so social housing providers like housing associations are really picking this up and seeing how important it is for the UK. Builders need to um, have confidence in what they're building and uh, cavity wall is a pretty standard uh, way of doing it. What we found is that since we built Denby Dale, the industry has taken the detailing and design and applied it to many other projects. In judging how it's performed in the five years since we built, we've got the anecdotal evidence from Jeff and Kate, who are uh, extremely enthusiastic about it all. Um, but uh, Leeds Beckett University studied the first two years of um, energy use and what that shows is that it is doing as PHPP told us it would. If we were to be building Denby Dale now, today, five years later, what would I change? Very little, actually. The heating and the um, MVHR, the ventilation system, I felt was, we overcomplicated at Denby Dale. I would separate them and simplify it. We were reticent about Jeff and Kate having the solar space. Um, the ideal on the south facing elevation is about a third glazing, two thirds wall. But Jeff and Kate were insistent on this two storey solar space, which I'm very glad they did actually, because it is a lovely space. But the PHPP showed um, great dangers of overheating for obvious reasons but that was controlled very well in fact on retrospect with the electric external Venetian blinds that we installed. I don't think we'd have done anything differently from what we, what we did. No. Um, we did put underfloor heating in, uh, in the um, kitchen and upstairs in the bathroom because we weren't sure of the performance. Uh, we've never switched it on, so it's something we didn't need to do. I'd be more than pleased for politicians to come and visit us to see what is possible in a passive house. The more we can get people in who can make the decisions to come and visit our house, the better, because this is the future. The Denbydale House has been completed for five years now, and along with thousands of other passive houses, it really proves that passive house works Passive houses are both comfortable and highly energy efficient. And in the UK we have a policy vacuum. We have no policy for delivering really energy efficient buildings. And that's where Passive House comes in. Passive House could really make the difference if it became part of our national policy. This house is proof of what is possible for very little extra cost. It's warm, it's comfortable, it's sustainable, and that's 
that I would like to see the politicians pick up, acknowledge and run with.